Hi guys, I'm Run Buck and this is Run Buck on Games. I got another deck to take a look at in Clash Royale. This time, as you can see the mix here, it's all about long range. Goblin Barrel, Fireball, Rocket. Seems a little cheesy, but I struggled. I almost I was almost able to counter it the first time he'd run up against it. Uh, but it's interesting. Let's take a look at it. Uh, and we'll just zip right in. Here we go, Builder's Workshop. I don't know your name but it has a lot of characters. Okay, so here we go. So at this point, I'm just kind of, I'm doing a new play style uh, in terms of the tactics I'm using, which is kind of, I'm sitting back during the early phase of the of the engagement, trying to look for what they're playing first. Hmm, makes sense, right? Uh, so I'm, you'll see me really not in the first minute and a half uh, pushing too much into their side of the map. Mostly I'm just sitting back, I'm trying to see what cards they have trying to counter those cards, get a little bit of elixir advantage by being more efficient and killing them on my side of the map. You know, like right there, we had the witch and the uh, wizard. That's probably nine elixir that was taken out by just a Tesla. I think I gained one elixir off that. But anyway, the math is not critical. The concept is to play it on your side of the map initially as you try to get a feel for what they're doing. Now, I'm, I'm still working on it. As you can see, I'm not doing so well dropping my troops well with the elixir timing. See, I'm maxing a lot, so I still need to work on that. But at this point, I think this is where I should recognize or watch for. If people are goblin barreling you early, uh, odds are they're trying to do a, a wear down attack on one tower where they're not even really going to try to push. They might try to long range you. And this is what I did right, even though I didn't know why I was doing it. It was what was throwing him off a little, right? And especially here. Once you see the big daddy, I call it the V2, <laughs> come, come launching across the screen, you're going to be like, oh boy. And the other thing is, so if they're obviously long range, I need to stop deploying behind the towers because that gives them a freebie. Um, that was another point that I didn't think I should have done right. But we're still, so I keep doing it <laughs> with my deploy. Now that time my minions got by, they sneak past. But I'm still waiting, right? I'm still playing back. Right now is when I usually try to push harder. So I'm a minute in. Uh, we now know what he's kind of his card play is. Uh, and so here goes my swinging gate. Prince past the expo play. But he holds it off, right? But here's what's interesting. This is where, against this deck, I think it does force him to do what he does not want to do, which is use his ranged attack cards to stop basically a press so you need to have a consistent set of presses that he can't stop with something like that where it's just and also notice how he's using the uh, tombstone not so much as an attacking mechanic within this deck but more as a blocking mechanic so it's also you know when you look at like here we go again so, so twice I've pulled him forced him to uh, use his V2 on me, his rocket. But, you know, maybe the other thing I could have done, I, th I was thinking, is like, once it's clear that he's trying to goblin barrel me down, if I can, I maybe need to Tesla my weak tower instead. Tesla, while I'm continuing to press with, like, my ra my push attack. Because basically, we he, it was pretty close. Like, I between he and I, like, you'll see in the last moments, I had my expo locked he was trying, so we'll, he'll V2 me again, right? This is, he says, bang, bang, bang. But it's keeping him from getting, notice how he still hasn't gotten a tower. And the Goblin Barrel here, look how I have two Teslas way out in front. And I don't think I needed those in his style of attack. He's not going to push really heavily with this style of attack. He's ranged attacked in. He's fireball, fireball, Goblin Barrel. But see, now he's got me. But so we're down in the last minute, right? So here goes my expo. He knows he's going to, bring the big daddy and here's the rocket for the win oh no I got 36 health left but see this is where the Tesla might have made a difference right it's having Tesla's in position because Tesla's are immune to the v2 and look they're still up so it's an interesting deck a little cheesy this guy had uh, 450 wins at this time uh, his favorite cards were the ones in this deck so he clearly is playing this had made it up to 1875 um, with it so clearly it works um, I don't know if I want to play it but because it doesn't seem well it may but anyway I, I'm more curious on how to counter it so if you guys have ideas on how to counter it that I didn't mention in the video comment down below and if it's helping you out 
Give me a like or subscribe. Talk to you later. What am I going to do? My clan sucks. Hey, it's JTJ. Uh, I think that's an all-out attack. No, no, it's the legendary JTJU. 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 This army. Download Clash of Clans for free. Then subscribe to JTJU and win.